Welcome to RMD All Things Aesthetics and Wellness podcast with me, your host, Dr. Deborah Durst, and my co host. Hey guys, Verity Golombieski, nurse practitioner here at Revitalize MD. Well, I think we can close this. Yeah, we're not opinionated or anything on this topic. No. We don't really need these, do we? We don't need these. This is more opinion, um, but strong opinion based on facts. But so the semi glutide base, we have a great podcast for you today. So is it fact or is it fiction? That's what we're going to talk about. This has been trending on TikTok. I've seen it all over the reels, this whole semi-glutide face. Yeah. So so. what is it? Is it real? Is it a side effect of the medication? That's what we're going to talk about. So semi-glutide, as you probably know, and if you don't, is a peptide, which is an amino acid sequence that helps to simulate hormones or neurotransmitters in the body, but helps you lose weight. So it's very popular. There's some manufactured brands, but semi-glutide is popular. And so basically it works. You'll lose weight. You'll lose sure. weight. It decreases and you can use a appetite. lot of weight. People love it from the weight loss. It's not for everyone. You might have some side effects, GI stuff, bloating, nausea, all that. But it is but it a helps. diabetic medication too, and it helps with type 2 diabetes. So mm-hmm. when we talk about semi-glutide phase, you can interchange Wegovy phase. Ozempic yes. face. Yes, all of those. Manjaro face. Yes. So you can take any of these medications and... So it's all the same. Again, the yeah. diabetics, I've never seen a drug remarketed as the same drug for a different indication. I didn't even know that was possible, but yeah. it's possible. Anything's yeah. possible now. It would have weight loss in addition to diabetic control. So then they remarketed it for weight loss. And so now semi-glutide mm-hmm. is exactly like that, but a compounded peptide. So basically does result in weight loss. So does it cause a sagging of your face and and now you look old because you're on semi-glutide? So that's what they say. The semi-glutide face, the term, what it means is a sagging, gaunt, wrinkly, older looking face. Why does that happen? So when we have an aging face, what happens in the aging face? We lose fat. The volume prim- loss. Yeah. The primary thing that happens is that you get loss of fat and bone support in the upper face and the fat pads in the lower face get heavier. So you get sagging. That's an aging face. Yep, an that's aging a face. normal process of aging. So yes. let's start with the anatomy and natural processes first. Yes. So when we are young, we have lots of good fat pads. Our skin stays up nice and tight. And then as we age and we lose that bone structure and we lose those fat pads, our skin starts to sag. And you do get heavy like fat pads lower. So basically that inverted triangle of a youthful face now becomes a triangle. And so you get heavier in the lower face because of sagging and it's volume loss and fat pads. So volume loss happens over time. Yes. And so that's a normal aging face. And again, why do we get wrinkles and fine lines, wrinkles and deep crevices, whatever you have, whatever we <laughs> we think we have, what you know, because we're hardest on ourselves is yes. because of also loss of collagen and elastin. So those are the aging features that's going to happen. No matter what. No matter what. So again, elastin is part of it, collagen Mm -hmm. elastin. So you don't have elasticity. You're not going to bounce back. So when we're pregnant, I gained like 75 pounds when I was pregnant each time and lost it all. I do not see you gaining 75 pounds. So like you, but you lose, (laughs) oh yeah, no, it was a bad, like it was a bad look. I wasn't a good, you know, fully pregnant look. You weren't the basketball in the front? No, not at all. I was basketball all over. I was just all over And so, but again, you can lose that and bounce back when you're young. And so you can lose that weight as you get older. And I have these conversations every time I see a patient wanting semi-glutide. If they're over 50, um, you can't lose too much and you can't lose too fast. Those are the two things. Because if we're losing fat on a medication, right? So we take semi-glutide for weight loss, diabetes, and then for diabetes, but a result of that is we have weight loss. So whichever way that we're looking at it, it's still a result of weight loss. You don't lose weight in just your stomach. You don't lose weight in just your hips or just your thighs. We lose weight globally. So that includes the fat on our face. So that is going to happen regardless of how we lose weight. So you lose a significant amount of weight on a medication, any weight loss medication, or if you lose a significant amount of weight because you are dieting and doing it naturally, a person that naturally loses weight quickly is going to also have 
that fat loss in their face. So it is going to happen regardless of which modality. But what you're saying is as we get older, we're going to have global sagging as we have global (laughs) weight loss. You have global weight loss, but you don't have global sagging when you're 30 or 40 and you lose the weight because... You'll you've, bounce back. Your you have skin, collagen elastin. Yeah, you have collagen elastin. So That's you why. will have global sagging. So it is not just a Wagovi or semi-glutide base. It's a Wagovi or semi-glutide ass. You know, yes. it is <laughs> like your, you know, arms, bra fat, but the ass is another common area because, again, it's just that you already lose ass as you get older. And, and then so, when you lose all the fat yeah. in the glute, what happens? It gets worse. Yeah, and we're so. seeing, we are seeing that. It is a semi-glutide butt. I'm surprised I haven't seen that all over TikTok. I'm sure we will next. You will. And so we'll actually kind of like put up a picture of a before and after of a semi-glutide ass that we've done like with, you know, filler where we give them the instant booty lift. And yep. so, so it's coming. So it's so. coming. So anytime you have significant weight loss, you are going to lose weight in the face as well. For our older women, it can look a little gaunt. It can yeah. look hollowed out. So what are our options? So if we're going to lose weight and we want you to lose weight, especially if there are health benefits to that weight loss, what are our treatments? What can we do? So first thing, mm. a good professional skincare line, taking care of our face, using retinols, tretinone, you know, just good retinoids. I would actually even start with like, again, if you're not hormone optimized and and we just didn't put it at the very top of it, but if you're not hormone optimized, again, that is necessary for skin health. And so you want to do that and you're going to build muscle more. So you have less sagging. Like it's always good for your skin and your musculoskeletal support if you're hormone optimized. But yes, good skincare and then regenerative treatments. Yes. You know, you've got it. We don't talk enough about that anyhow, but you want to do things that are going to build collagen elastin. Laser treatments for resurfacing, Mm -hmm. laser treatments for skin tightening and platelet rich plasma, PRP with microneedling. And you can even do body contouring treatment. So if you're getting fat reduction, what you have is skin looseness or sagging, global sagging, as we said. So what happens is a lot of the body contouring devices will actually just, they'll target both fat and skin or just fat. Well, you've already had fat loss and now you have a skin. So you need skin is, tightening. You need tightening of the skin. So like there's lots of regenerative lasers you can do for tightening of the skin, but you do want to get a little, a little deeper. So like a radio frequency microneedling, like a body Morpheus is really good. But we do have a machine called um, Photona, which has tight sculpting. And it is one of the few treatments where you can get deeper and you can focus just skin tightening versus fat reduction too. But a lot of times you know, the fat reduction is just going to get you like a tightening and shrink wrapping. So it's okay to do both of them at the same time, but definitely you don't want to do something such as school sculpting, which is only doing fat reduction, mm-hmm. which you've already done. You want skin tightening and if it you doesn't just have do the that. Skin. So. so definitely um, laser skin tightening treatments, mm-hmm. like we said, radio frequency lasers for resurfacing, for remodeling, for um, that texture skin, that wrinkles, right? Yes. So for all of that, and then filler and filler yes you got to replace the volume so in the face again we're losing one percent of volume a year fillers get a bad rap you know and it's not the filler you know it's again placed in the right way it's the injector and the patient in combination so sometimes i feel like you know if it's not placed the right way and it's not actually contouring Mm -hmm. and you know where it should be and if it's heavy into the soft tissue it will cause further sagging you know but also i think that sometimes people get injected and then they see another thing that looks worse now and then they want more and they want more and so i feel like you know it's an education process to to make sure that patients understand you know where the limits are like or how we should be contouring so we have those conversations in the office not all fillers are created equal no so some are better for collagen stimulation than others um and the different forms are depends on where we place them so again like dr Dirsch was saying is there needs to be lots of education lots of conversations Mm -hmm. um it is not a come in you get filler once it is come back we may need to touch up we may need to yes um correction over time natural looks you know those are all good things and there is a bio you're right all filler is not created equal it is not 
the biostimulatory ones, especially if we're doing like a booty lift, is very helpful because it's also going to increase your collagen and elastin and it's going to yeah. increase the skin texture after. So, Or we can dilute it down a little bit and help with crepey skin, yeah, which happens that. with weight loss. Yeah. Well, so we there's lots of even options. without a lot of times. Exactly. exactly. Because what things, happens yeah. as we age naturally, we have volume loss. Right. So these are things that our patients that are not on semi-glutide still have still have mm -hmm. as part of the aging process so another option is threads oh threads yes are awesome yeah so again you're gonna lift as an immediate effect for mm -hmm. like a pdo um facelift with a thread you know or neck tightening jaw because you know that's another thing that becomes less defined with age and as we're losing will become yeah, less for that defined. loose skin yeah, yeah, so it'll lift and then it stimulates collagen and elastin in the path and great studies to support that. Yeah. And so, yeah. And then you've got surgery options, right? Yes, so excess you, skin. Excess skin. It is, unfortunately, some, as fortunately, unfortunately, right? Because yeah. if you've lost that much weight, congratulations. Yes. Um, but well, some things are, are required for surgeons that, yeah. you know, can take care of you know, excess skin. But that is one time that you potentially need to have surgery is that when there's an excess of something yeah you know it needs to be removed threads just aren't going to do it if it's yes. in the face sometimes mm -hmm. we do need a facelift or a neck lift or you know you can do fat transfer there's lots of options um on that route as well yes, and i do love the prp and prf and we just brushed over but yes and prf gel is another one that we can now do kind of injects like a filler but uses prp and it regenerates and rejuvenates and all the things the big thing is that over 50 don't lose too much or too fast because yes. it's going to cause that um, volume and uh, fat loss in an area that already is experiencing it and so it's not necessarily so i would say it's fiction that there is a semi-glutide yes. or would go be face i think that it's the aging face that lost weight too fast or has lost too much so it's my opinion what about you i would say it's fiction yes obviously i think that we kind of stressed on that, that yeah. enough <laughs> yeah i think a straight up fiction is yes. um from both of us you get a fiction on that so, so. anyhow let's share your experience with the goby and what goby or semi ozempic or whatever it is yes whatever medication you are using let us know and then again just let you know share this with friends because so many people are using this so if you haven't um or if they haven't seen the video just share it and then know there's options lots of options for improving that and so let us know if there's anything else you want to hear about because we're willing to deep dive into anything aesthetics, wellness, or sexual wellness. Thank, Thank you. you.